Space is a vast area of exploration, constantly expanding and filled with limitless research opportunities. Whilst many discoveries made by astronomers and astrophysicists are groundbreaking, we do not always take the time to appreciate what the research could tell us on a wider scale. Plenty of astronomical discoveries are one part of a domino effect that will lead us to much broader research and much bigger breakthroughs, so these discoveries can be much more thrilling than they first seem. Today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent space discoveries made in July 2021. Astronomers see moons forming in disks around distant exoplanet. One question that has played on the minds of astronomers for decades with no real answer is how planets and their moons are formed. But thanks to new research, we could be one step closer to answering that very question. Within our solar system, we can see a broad range of moons, from the icy moons like Jupiter's Io to the volcanic surfaces seen on Neptune's Tristan. Whilst we have recorded and observed plenty of moons that orbit the planets in our solar system, 219 to be precise, we are yet to observe any moons beyond Pluto. Planets outside of our solar system are known as exoplanets and moons, by definition, orbit a planet. Therefore, it is safe to assume that there are a fair number of moons orbiting these exoplanets too. Despite having found more than 4,000 exoplanets, Scientists are yet to definitively see an exomoon. There are six potential candidates under surveillance that could be orbiting exoplanets, but we are awaiting confirmation. A particular duo of exoplanets, not unlike Jupiter, have been observed for years. They sit nearly 400 light-years away from Earth and may have recently given us the next step in detecting an exomoon and seeing how moons are formed. Astronomers have observed what is being described as a disk of debris orbiting one of these exoplanets. This is a circle of rocks and gas that is slowly and gradually forming together from its own gravity. Could we have observed a moon in the process of its creation? Many astronomical discoveries are made by noticing a small flicker or slight variation in datasets that tell us to probe further. This phenomenon, however, was captured clear as day in a photograph. This photograph has sparked plenty of excitement and discussion among scientists. An astronomer working at Stanford University, Bruce McIntosh, although not involved with the research, commented, I don't have coherent scientific thoughts. I just look at the image and say, wow, every time I see it. The discovery was first reported in the Astrophysical Journal Letters on July the 22nd and has reignited discussions into how moons are formed. Theories have spread within scientific communities, suggesting that high-force impacts may aid the formation, or magnetic whirlpools that disrupt the gravitational pull could be behind the creation of moons. Miriam Benesty, the lead author of the study and astronomer from the University of Grenoble, says, We have all these theories that are beautiful, but if you cannot test them, they could be completely wrong. This concept of a theory lacking falsifiability or being unable to be proved presents an issue to numerous branches of science, most famously psychology and astronomy, where things can be a little harder to experiment. However, the star system in which this disk of debris has been spotted could present a good opportunity to criticize, rule out and find support for all of these theories. This system is very young in comparison to our own solar system, with the exoplanets PDS-70b and PDS-70c still having their own disk of gas and dust encircling them, indicating they were only recently formed. It was in 2019, a month after the discovery of PDS-70c, that the dust suggesting an exomoon could be forming was spotted via Chile's Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA. Despite having been the first sign of activity, the signal was incredibly faint. Though follow-up observations by Dr. Benesty's team revealed the disk of debris that could be the start of an exomoon forming. It is hoped that within a short amount of time, these methods and patterns of discoveries can become routine and run-of-the-mill. There are a number of telescopes and space observatories with high-tech equipment and that are very powerful that will be open and available for use over the next few years. Hopefully, we will be able to report exomoons themselves being caught on camera, full-formed and entirely confirmed. 
the discovery of moons in the making is arguably more exciting than stumbling across fully formed moons. Hopefully, soon enough, we will be able to observe the final product of the exomoons. Amateur astronomer discovers a tiny moon around Jupiter. We often hear the advice given to us growing up to making money doing something you love, or sometimes to try and keep work and hobbies distinct from one another. Whichever side of this debate you fall on, amateur astronomer Kai Lee has proved that you do not need to be a professional to make great progress and significant achievements in a field. In 2020, Kai Lee successfully located four Jupiter moons that had been considered lost after their predicted patterns of movement seemingly changed. Lee replotted their predicted trajectories and accurately highlighted which moons these were from telescope images that were publicly available. Following this feat, Lee has managed to discover and locate a previously unknown moon orbiting Jupiter. Kai Lee posted on June 30th in an online community for the world's leading amateur astronomers, the Minor Planet mailing list, commenting, I'm proud to say that this is the first planetary moon discovered by an amateur astronomer. Using old telescope images from 2003, Lee spotted the small moon orbiting Jupiter, 385 million miles away from Earth. Jupiter has a total of 79 moons, and now thanks to Lee, that's 80. And this unnamed satellite could be one of just many more moons we are yet to discover within our very own solar system. Some of these Jovian moons are so small that they can be seen by a large telescope for only one month in a year. Jeff Hecht from Sky and Telescope reports that Lee made the discovery using images taken back in 2003 by the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope. This is the same dataset from which they were able to pinpoint the lost Jovian moons in 2020. Both the new moon and the lost moons were discovered within the Karma Cluster, a group of 22 rocks with orbits fairly similar to one another in space. Many NASA scientists have predicted that Kame, the largest of these satellites, was once an asteroid that has broken into smaller pieces, giving each part a similar orbit, with an average radius of 14 miles. After Lee had made the initial observation, they calculated the 22 days arc the Moon follows by using data available from the Subaru telescope, which confirmed that the previously unseen object was indeed a Moon orbiting Jupiter. Lee has elaborated on their work explaining that they made 76 observations which covered a total of 15.26 years, meaning the orbit is mapped out and secured for decades. They stated, I hereby present to you Jupiter's 80th moon, EJC 0061, equals S slash 2003J24. Other amateur astronomers have congratulated Kylie, explaining to those who are uninformed about the hours of work required to search through the incredible amounts of data. Lee has described their search for Jupiter's moons as a summer hobby before I return to school. This is an impressive feat and an incredible discovery, made without advanced equipment, but rather the data that is available to the public. A powerful jet emerges from a black hole in unprecedented detail in new images. The fifth brightest galaxy in the sky, Centaurus A, has been under heavy observation for years and new images taken by the Event Horizon Telescope has captured what is being described as a powerful jet, ejecting from the center of its supermassive black hole in incredible levels of detail we had not achieved before. These images have photographed the jet with an accuracy 10 times higher and a 16 times sharper resolution than has ever been possible before. This means that astronomers are able to study an extragalactic radio jet on much smaller scales. This gives a greater insight into how this jet came about and how it was launched. Data from the Event Horizon Telescope has allowed a closer observation of radio emissions from a black hole, magnifying the size by one billion, compared to the view we are usually able to observe from Earth. Centaurus A is a part of the constellation Centaurus, and this galaxy was the first located source of radio waves outside of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. While there are certainly similarities between the two galaxies, the black hole at the center of Centaurus A is very different from that of the Milky Way. 
Both black holes are being studied using the EHT thanks to the higher resolution making studying Centaurus A more worthwhile, accurate, and accessible. The EHT collaboration has made use of eight radio observatories across the globe, forming one telescope spanning Earth. This team effort allows for much more powerful equipment, resulting in the higher resolution data and images to be obtained. Usually, radio research is stunted by the size of the telescope receiving the signal, though this hindrance was removed with this worldwide collaboration. Scientists are yet to discover precisely what created the jets spraying from the black hole, but these new images provide us with a great deal of information to delve into, and the quality of these images presents a whole host of future research opportunities. Exploring space and the areas around us is an unending task, and the research unfolding right in front of us is incredibly fascinating, to say the least. But what do you make of these amazing space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.